Oh. In the butter. All right. Throw that away. Hello! Thanks for coming. Oh, I hope that that works. Hi, soul. I cleaned off my camera before I got on here since I looked like a fuzzy disaster a minute ago. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. We're going to make some shortbread cookies. Now I'm excited because this... Okay, so the reason I found this recipe is I was like, I really need some cookies in my life. Like, this was like Saturday night at like 930. And I didn't have any eggs. And this recipe has no eggs. So literally I googled... Keto cookie recipe, no egg. And I found it. And it's actually really, really, really good. Um, so, thanks for coming. If you're not losing weight, you should track what you're eating. Um, the best way to do it. Hi, y'all. Thanks for coming. I This recipe is so easy. So easy. Okay. So. Battery low. Please charge oh, now. Let's turn off the thing. Sorry, I'm trying to read and stop. Um, you should send me some cookies. I love trying all baked mixes. They're one of my favorites. Um, so, I got a haircut yesterday. Oh, I talked about that already. Thank you. I'm feeling my haircut. I didn't feel like I needed a haircut, but I got my haircut and I was like, this is the freshest my hair's ever felt. Um, yeah, so, so decided, she gets to eat about half of everything that I get. Um, Okay, so I was doing dishes earlier and cut my hand open. And I'm not going to show y'all, but I took a chunk of skin off and it hurt. Um, so I'm going to wear these very fashionable gloves to bake in. Um, just because I don't plan on eating all of these cookies myself. And nobody wants to see a wound. So we're going to go ahead and cover that bad boy up. Should I do one or two? Is one, is one cooler than two? Cause I'm pretty cool. If I need to do two, I can do two. Um, okay. So I have my oven on 350. I have my butter kind of room temperature. So the recipe, I can note off the top of my head. This is from wholesome, wholesome yum, I think is the name of the um, blog. So it's six tablespoons of butter. It is two and a half cups of almond flour. Um, half a cup of your sugar substitute that you'd like, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Did it off the top of my head. I am going to do one glove. I'm feeling good about it. I think one's way funnier too, because people are going to be like, why is she wearing one glove? And nobody will know if they didn't watch the beginning. So, um, okay. So I do believe we beat the butter with the sugar and then add the almond flour. I don't remember what order it goes in, so we're just going to wing it. Not a big deal. I did want to show y'all the ingredients that I'm using because there's tons of ingredients and you can use whatever you like, but this is what I like to use. So this is my almond flour. I got it at Costco. It's my favorite. Walmart has almond flour, guys. Y'all can go to Walmart and buy almond flour. The only difference between the Walmart, um, blah, 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 the Walmart almond flour and like this almond flour is like the quality of the flour. All of it works the same. It's just like the Walmart isn't as finely, finely ground as this one is. So this is one I like. This one's really cheap. It's at Costco. I like this one. Um, Yeah, peanut butter is not a very diet-friendly item because it's a lot of calories, so you can go overboard really, really, really fast. Um, so my the other item that I use a lot of is Pure, also at Walmart. I think it's six dollars, seven dollars, or something like that. Um, this is the only sugar substitute I like. If you don't like cooling effects or stuff like that, there is xylitol, but it's not pet friendly. I don't keep it in my house. Pure is the only way to go. Um, how many do I eat of what? I don't understand the question. Um, thanks for coming and watching me live. This is pretty much it. I'm just going to hang out and talk to y'all and make noises with some of the appliances. That's about it. Um, but y'all are more than welcome to ask any questions, comments, concerns. Y'all know everything. Um, Sam's does have it too. Actually, Soul ha got me Bob's Red Mill, um, which I actually have too, which will be used right after I finish this bag. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and mix up the butter and the sugar. It calls for a half a cup. Okay, so if you're going to use pure, 
Pure is a mixture between erythritol and stevia. I do think Swerve has more erythritol. I don't know. I, I don't know technically, but um, Swerve gives me more of a cooling effect. So the way that companies, um, if you put erythritol and stevia together, they kind of play well with each other. So you don't have as much of the weird aftertastes and things. Um, and I found Pure has the best ratio of them together um and I've tried xylitol I haven't tried actually that many of them I haven't tried monk fruit um I just kind of found pure kind of stuck with it and all of the other ones are really expensive um and pure is not as expensive so um I don't really eat cookies every day um I fit whatever goes into my macro um not the same different ingredients pure doesn't have the cooling effects for me so I'm gonna so okay Stevia will give you that that kind of that cooling effect too. The trick to stevia is after about three or four days, you don't feel it. You you, you don't notice it. And um, because I didn't like stevia at the beginning, I didn't like stevia for a really really long time. And once I started using it in my coffee because I wanted to get rid of the the fake sugars that I was using, it is now my favorite sweetener. I use it for a lot of stuff. So I'm doing um, half a cup of pure. pure. I'm going to whip it into the butter, and it probably says until it's fluffy. Actually, I think this one says five minutes, and I'm not doing it for five minutes. No. Wrong. I don't care that much. Sorry. I hope they're fine. Uh, yeah, I get it pure at Walmart is where I got it. You can get it on Amazon, too, if you'd like. Um, I'm going to start this, and I can read while I'm doing this. I think you'll be able to. Maybe if I take it a little bit away. Um... Yeah, here's at Walmart. It's my favorite. I like the, you know, I just haven't tried enough of the other ones. I just, the cooling effect is it's six, tablesp six tablespoons of um, room temp butter and half a cup of, fa of sugar substitute, two and a half cups of almond flour, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Um, right now I'm just beating the butter into the sugar substitute. Um, Think you can throw it in the freezer. I just can't. That cooling effect makes me sick to my stomach, or it used to. At least erythritol still does it. So baked goods that have a lot of erythritol in them, I just can't. I just really don't enjoy. Sorry if that's really loud. Um, does it dissolve? I mean, kind of. You can always powder it if you really wanted. Um. Anyone can be in here. Uh, that that follows my or anybody can be in here. Um, yeah, y'all can talk to each other. Um, and like, this is some people find people through like chatting and these little things. So, um, all right, right now I'm just whipping this butter into this. Honey. I'm pretty sure this said five minutes. I'm I'm not doing this for five minutes. Um, So I did do the five minute butter last time I could I remember as I was like whipping this I remembered that's what it was and honestly I have a stand mixer I just haven't taken it out yet because I don't know where to put it um, that I could be doing this in the background so I'm just gonna do this for a little bit of time then we're gonna move on because I don't want to do that. Um, my glasses are from Warby. You can do like that little um, they'll send you that box of like five different ones and you can see what like your favorite ones are. It was kind of cool. I wore like a whole bunch of different glasses around the office for the day and asked guys what I thought, like what they thought about, about my glasses, um, which was kind of cool. All right. So coffee grinder. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. Um, I was, I tried to use like a processor and it did not work. All right. So sugar, and butter. Now I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna fold in the. Oh, I probably should have put the vanilla in there. Damn. That's okay. I need a spatula. Do I have a spatula? How do I not have a spatula? So I made awesome sauce and it is so, so spicy. Um, yeah, if you just want to eat some butter and some sugar, ugh, that would be awful. Um, I don't know how many cookies this makes. I'm going to make it with a, um, 
I think this is a, ha uh, a tablespoon. So what I do is I do this. So, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanted to talk to y'all about when you make a recipe because this is going to help people out that, um, I don't, I do look like a tattoo artist. This is the super, you see I only have one though? It's a little bit, I cut myself. Um, so I wanted to hit on something. If, shit, what was I going to say? Oh, if you're making a recipe and you need to track it because I do think tracking is very, very important. Um, if you are doing a recipe and you need to track it, what you would do, you, whoever, whatever you're making, is you take all of the ingredients. Hi, boyfriends. Thank you for coming in here. Hi. That's not weird. Um, you take all the ingredients, put them into my fitness pal. I write the macros down, and then I'm like, okay, so eight servings. So I do the math on eight servings, and if it fits my macros for what I need it for, then I make, I divide it into eight servings. You can do it with cookies too. Make all the cookies, put it all in there. I know my boyfriend's never seen me all live. I'm kind of shocked he came in here. <laughs> um, or he said something cause I wouldn't have noticed if he didn't say anything. Uh, so now I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, making recipes. Uh, if you need me to, <laughs> he just texted me and said, I left right after you acknowledged me and I love you. Um, he's so sweet. Uh, I told him it's weird if he watches me live because this is kind of my thing that I had. I don't want to say before him, but I feel like it's weird for him to see me be Sam on my Instagram. Is that weird? It's kind of weird. He is keto ham I am. And <laughs> um, he got his name because his last, his last name uh, starts with ham. So it kind of makes sense. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just mixing in this um, almond flour into the butter right now. I don't know if I did this right at all. I'm just hoping it goes good. Um, yeah, it's it's it, it it's weird. I mean, I don't mind if he watches me and I, like he can see me on YouTube. I mean, it's just I don't know. This is my space. Um, all right. So what I'm doing? I don't know how to do this. How to show y'all? So when I'm making these cookies, I do this. Smush it into the middle like until it starts forming a dough and then I'm going to mix in some more flour and I just keep smushing it into the middle. I grab from the out. Oh, there we go. Can y'all see that? That's so fuzzy. Outside in, outside in, outside in. I just do it this way. I don't know if that makes any good. That's just the easiest way I found to do cookie dough. Um, he did get me all flustered. I didn't expect him to come in here. <laughs> um, my boyfriend's such a good guy. I'm such a good person. Um, Wait, I cannot wait until we do live in his house. His kitchen goes on for like eight miles. There's like eight miles of just cabinets that you, there's just space forever. Um, and I love it. Like, I don't have space. I'm not, like, I just can't wait. Anyways, so we'll have to do live at his apartment one time, or his house. His house, his house. You gotta let go of the carbs. They're not worth it. Hey, Sarah. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just making some shortbread cookies. I'm just literally, I'm going to show y'all how I'm doing the dough again. I'm wearing my super cool glove. This is it. This is me doing cookie dough. I'm just going to keep doing it until it's like crumbly-ish, but all the um, almond flour is kind of incorporated into it. It takes a minute. It'll be all right. All right. I'm cuter than the bowl of cookies. Um, okay, do, do, do. all right, he can be my shoot, sous chef. You know, I don't know if he would ever be on live with me. Um, he, we, we don't even take like, we don't even have a lot of like, we don't do photos and stuff together a lot either. Or I, I don't post them as much as I take them. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how, I don't think he would want to be on I don't know. I don't know if you'd want to be on here. That'd be so weird. Um, macros. So I'm not sure what you want me to explain about them. If, if you haven't read up on macros in the beginning of keto, then you should really, really, really go read up on it. Um, because I'm not sure what else, what, what, like you need to be specific on what your questions are. Like macros is a big topic. Um, 
Yeah, and it's only four ingredients. So you can make these and it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's so easy. Like you don't have to have eggs or anything. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be super dry. I'll show it to you. See, this is what my, this is, this is what my dough looks like. Um, I am going to put on another glove actually, because now I'm going to roll out the dough, um, and then flatten it. If you've ever made the chocolate chip cookies I like, they're the same way. These aren't going to like spread out at all. They're going to be exactly the same size that you bake them at. Um, Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so, when y'all come watch me, it makes me so happy. Like, I, I've been doing this for, man, it hasn't been a year yet, but it's only been like, I think 10 months. You know, if you crinkle this, it'll lay down instead of being all curled up. You're welcome. Um, okay, so, this is how I'm going to measure this. Dry. It's really, they are really dry. See? There you go. Um, they are good for, this shortbread recipe almost reminds me of the, like, shortbread recipe that has, like, the kings, the, um, those symbols on them, or even, um, the ones that come in the, the royal ones that come in the blue tin. Those were my favorite, the ones that had, like, sugar crystals on top. And you know they all tasted the same, but you, like, wanted one of each. Um, okay, so... This is about how much dough I'm doing. Boop, just like that. Beautiful little. I'm just going to put this mound on the cookie sheet. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like in a minute. Um, I try to like smush them. This is how I measure them. So what you do is you put all the almond flour, all the butter, all the sugar substitute, and the vanilla into my fitness pal. Get the totals. And then when you're done scooping out the cookies, you divide and you'll know how many carbs each one is and how much fat and things like that um so that's how I do all my recipes like everything is for, if, if I'm making something myself and I need to track it that's the best way to track it um and it's 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 I mean it's about as accurate as you're gonna get for like recipe tracking um I am wearing gloves very serious okay so what happened was I said I wouldn't say it again, so just so y'all wouldn't know why I was wearing gloves. Like, I wasn't going to bring it up. So you're like, why the fuck is she wearing gloves? <laughs> um, I cut my hand earlier, so... Hey, Shay! Thank you for coming by. I feel like I haven't seen you lately. I don't know if you're not posting, or Instagram's like, you don't get to see Shay's posts lately, because that's what I feel like is happening for a lot of... It makes me so mad that Instagram changed the algorithm, because if you don't constantly interact with somebody, you don't get to see them as often. And that's so rude rude it is rude instagram um so if you feel like you haven't seen somebody in a while go look up their page if you can remember what their handle was or something um because you might just not be seeing their their posts and that goes for even like my account if you don't see something you can go turn on like notifications and it'll let you know like when something's posted or i guess keep it at the top okay not posting a lot okay i hope you're doing well um i'll have to message you later um, all right, I'm just keep, I'm just scooping, just, these are so cute little, they look like little ice cream scoops too. Um, and I can imagine you could probably make these with any flavor if you want. I mean, I just use vanilla cause that's what I have. Um, I am going to do a, ah, I can't really show, I'm not going to be on here long enough to show you the chocolate part, but I will show y'all the chocolate part. It's really, really easy. So pretty much for the chocolate like topping, what I did is I just took, um, Lily's, like, um, chips, and then added a little bit of, I think it was coconut oil, and then melted it together and just poured it on top with a little bit of, like, mint in it. Um, yeah, if they could just, I'm making sugar cookies, like, four ingredient sugar cookies is what I'm making, actually. Um, I made some, like, not too long ago and put some chocolate on top, and they were so good. So good. Um, okay, so... The, d the dough is really, really dry. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I have made a ton of these cookies. Um, almond would be really good. Jelly would be amazing on top of these. Um, oh my god, peanut butter and jelly. I'm obsessing about peanut butter and jelly. So I got um, some nush cakes today, or last week or whatever. I want to take a peanut butter nush cake, and I want to cut it in half and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of it immediately like I should I I totally forgot to bring home that 
my Nish Cakes. I'm trying to keep my um, snacks at work so I'm not snacking at home all the time. It works, but it makes me sad because then I'm like, oh, I forgot I wanted that. Thank you. I bought some, um, speaking of hair, I am not a hair any, I, I'm not good at hair, but the couple things I have learned are, I think, really making a difference in my hair life. And one of those is pay for quality stuff. My shampoo and conditioner are very expensive and so is like the leave-in treatment that I use and it is worth every single penny I pay for it. I also use, and then I bought some more, like some spray stuff that my stylist uses on my hair and um, it was pretty expensive too, but it means my hair's not getting damaged. Somebody asked me the other day, they were like, um, they asked, uh, how do I prevent hair loss? And preventing hair loss is important, but you know what is also important is like taking care of the hair you already have. Um, cause then if you can make it last longer, you'll look like you have more hair since you're not growing as much. Okay. So, um, I'm going to show you. So here, look how cute they are. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. So I'm just going to take, I'm not going to flatten these with my hand cause then they leave hand marks and I hate that. So flatten these out to about that much. Um, you want them to be about a third of an inch thick. I don't know. I don't ever measure these things when people are like, it's a third of an inch thick. I don't know what that means. Um, just, you want them to be about the size of a cookie. I'm actually going to do this with this. Um, this isn't my recipe. This is from Wholesome Yum, but I can tell you the recipe out loud. Um, the temp goes in, it's 350 for, I don't know. I didn't look. So my bad. I have no idea. I'll have to Google it and let you know. Um, wasn't very prepared apparently. Um, okay. So right now I'm literally taking this and smashing, uh, down these cookies. So they're turning out so round and cute. I'm so impressed. You know what? These would be really good if you added like a peanut butter flavor and made thumbprint cookies out of them. Oh, there's so many. I wanted to, I meant to pick up orange, um, to make orange chocolate, but I forgot. So I'm going to make a mint instead. Um, yeah, taking care of your hair is just, since I started, like, I used to just do everything, like, on the cheapest I could ever do stuff. And, like, hair is something I just won't do cheap anymore. Like, I've learned that lesson way too many times. So. Who doesn't love getting their hair cut? Um, the glove. Okay, so I've cut myself, and it's kind of gnarly, so I put the glove on. So y'all don't have to see it. Because, like, Soul was, like, getting heebie-jeebies about it earlier, and I was talking to her and showed her. So I'm not going to... I realize not everybody's going to be okay with seeing my wound. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, ooh, powdered peanut butter would be even better in these, I think. Um, glove. Okay, so I'm going to show you all my... Look at that. Oh, look how pretty they are. Yeah. Perfect. I'm actually going to flatten these out a little bit more, I think. I don't think they're flat enough. It okay exactly well I'm just being honest so the in what happened was I was washing a dish oh fuck I mean dang dang not, not the f word somebody kind of I must have said a lot of f words last week because somebody kind of got upset about it but that's okay try to be friendly to everybody okay Oh, so in the way I broke my hand, or broke my hand, cut my hand is I stuck it in a glass and the glass shattered when I was doing dishes. Dishes are dangerous. Dangerous. I shouldn't have to ever do dishes. Um, yeah. I have tattooed somebody before. I have tattooed somebody. Like, there's somebody walking around the earth right now that's my handwriting down their leg. And I drew some weird little alien pictures. There's a person... Alive that has my touch. Something I wrote on them. All right, here are my little cookies. I'm going to put them in. I don't know how long. We're just going to see. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. Alexa's not working. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 
Okay, so maybe Alexa's unplugged. We're just gonna watch it. I don't know how long, and I don't have a timer. There we go. Um, yeah, that's funny. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, Alexa must not be plugged in. I don't know what she's doing over there. Um, do y'all have any? Ooh, do y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns? Um, I feel like that's, I mean, I'm not going to do much else. I'm just going to, tonight I'm going to cook myself dinner. I'm having cabbage and um, pork tenderloins with some noodles because I love noodles. I love noodles. I only have one bag left. Oh my God, I don't think I brought it home. Damn it. Well, I guess I'm not having noodles. Shit. Um... I'm pretty sure that my legs is unplugged. I don't know what happened to her. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns? Y'all need anything else? Can I help you? I'm not cool. I'm like super uncool. Do y'all know what I did yesterday? Y'all want to hear about how cool my weekend was? Me and my boyfriend, I got haircut yesterday. Then me and my boyfriend went to Bed Bath & Beyond, the container store, Sprouts, Home goods. Then we went home and I played Zelda for like eight hours. Coolest person around. Right here. Um, the noodles I like are called noodles. N-E-W-D-L-E-S. Um, you can find them online. Really, really, really cool. Yeah. Your dream day. You're so funny. Um, yeah. I just... Yeah, I think being de snowed in would suck. Um, but, yeah, I'm just a regular person. Just doing regular things. Um, gamer in the sense, like, I played WoW in college, and now I have a Switch, which is just a really cool Game Boy, and I've been playing Zelda for, like, a million hours. If anybody else plays video games, listen to this short little story. So, playing Zelda, and I'm like, I'm doing so good. I've been playing this game for, like, a hundred hours. Playing this game. I was like, I have to be 60% done with this game. I beat the boss. I'm at 26% finished. I was like, what? <laughs> Only if you're a gamer would you get why that would be frustrating. But, alas. So now I have to go find 900 seeds. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um... Uh, I got the white one and said, I don't need any more horses. So I have three. <laughs> That is how many. Um, that you are a professional, CC for sure. Um, tell us how come. Tell us how come you came to stop cheating. Um. So I don't know how I stopped cheating. I. February 19th will be my 365 days that I have not had carbs. Um, the last time I had carbs was February 18th of 2018. Um, so I just don't want to feel bad anymore. That's pretty much about it. Um, we made some sugar cookies, short, shortbread cookies, not sugar cookies, shortbread cookies. Um, and they're in the oven right now. So waiting for them to get done. Mario, I'm so bad at Mario. Oh my god, I was so bad at Mario. I'm so bad at Mario, it makes me mad. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to do a walk away. Um, yeah, I'm having so much fun with Zelda, actually. Water intake each day. I get quite a bit of water. I drink a big 30-ounce thing about four times at work and then whatever at home. I mean, this isn't really water. Um, V-Day plans. Hi, Keto Peck. If y'all don't know Keto Peck, he was famous before I was around. That's a true story. He had way more followers than I did for a very long time. Um, and he's really famous for steaks. No Valentine's Day plans. I got my boyfriend some stuff. I feel like I'm just buying him shit just because there's a new holiday every month. Like, can we not do some, like, quality, like, buying things? Because I'm tired of just buying shit. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, ingredients, six tablespoons of softened butter, two and a half cups of almond flour, one ha or half of a cup of sugar substitute, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, noodles is N-E-W-D-L-E-S. If you look back on my page, the last thing I ate with noodles is those noodles. 
Um, what do I do for work? I am a controller of an 18 wheeler company. I help run a company that sells 18 wheelers. That's what I do for a living. Uh, do you ever hear like what somebody does for a living? You're like, what? That's a thing. I didn't know there was places that you could go buy an 18 wheeler. <laughs> do I found my job? Um, so, uh, I love video games. Far from famous, whatever, Steve. You're so famous. Um, do I eat any fruit? Not really. I have some jam in the freezer that I made. I don't know how to make that look better. Um, and it has some berries in it, but I'm not a big fruit person. Um, I just don't miss it at all. If you stay on plan, awesome. If you go off plan, awesome. Do whatever feels right. Um, just know that whatever weight you gain isn't real weight, and you'll drop it back off once you go keto again, so you'll be fine. Um, not a big deal. Did you like it though? You liked it, didn't you? I know you did. It's pretty good. I know that it's just a vegetable, but I like it. Yeah, I'm actually having cooked roasted cabbage tonight for dinner too, just because I eat it every night. Every night. Isn't it so good, Cece? I told you. I told you. It is just one of those things that you're like, that can't be that good. And then you eat it and you're like, it's like you, you're you mad that somebody was right that it was good. Um, so keto test script strips, um, they're fine as long as you're just started keto. If you are two weeks into keto and your test strips are saying you don't have any ketones, it's because you're burning them instead of getting rid of them. So now the strips don't work and you need something else, which would be like a keto mojo, like for blood testing. But you don't need any of that to be keto. Like you can be keto without all of that stuff. So if you, you don't have to do any of that. Um, I am about to make some cabbage. Okay, so the glove with the knife, little scarier than the glove without the knife. Am I right? This is a little creepier. It is. Especially just holding it like that. Just um yeah, I I love roasted cabbage too. Y'all know my boyfriend. My boyfriend cabbage is one of my favorite things. And you know what's funny is I just replaced boyfriend cabbage with, I mean boyfriend broccoli with cabbage. I'm going to start doing like a Sam's things of the week or month. Because apparently I just go through like these phases where I'm just like obsessed with something. Um, like I found a new podcast I really like. Thanks to um, uh, la, 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 Christina. Um, elliptic Fragilistic is her name. Um. Yeah, so she told me of a new podcast today. It's called Red Handed, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, isn't that super creepy? That was super creepy with the knife. I know. Um, do y'all want to see how I cut cabbage? Is that something y'all care about? I kind of just stayed on here longer than I thought I was going to. Um, I was like, I'm just going to do this and then get off. But apparently I'm hanging out for a minute. Um, I think Soul's eating cabbage tonight, too. Tonight's just a cabbage-y kind of night. I'm very excited. I love cabbage though. Cabbage is such a good little vegetable. And it's not really that carby either. Um, if you crumple the parchment paper, it doesn't roll up like it'll flatten out a little bit. So just make it easier to work with. It looks prettier for photos. I mean, there's not really a a better reason. It just lays down in the tray a little bit more. Oh, do you wanna see how I cut it? Here, I'll show you so. Alright, so here's my head of cabbage. Okay. Not on top. And then I'm just taking it at an angle. There we go. An angle. Like that. And then down. This one's kind of got a knob on it. Let's just cut this knob off. And then down and at an angle. Down and at an angle. Down and at an angle. And then just, I kind of just go around in a circle like that. That work? I hope that helped. I started the wrong. <laughs> Did you start here? Yeah. I don't know how to start from there. I'm glad I watched Jenna and how she made this first. Um, can't you just flip it? Just flip it over. How big is yours? Mine was massive. Did you see how big this thing of cab cabbage is? Just ridiculous how big. Um, cabbage is so cheap too. Like so cheap. So cheap. Okay, so I'm done making my cabbage. It is like a long distance cabbage. Okay, so here's my cabbage. I just laid it out. 
I don't really like the big green leafy pieces on the outside. They're just not as good. I don't know why they don't cook as well. Um, hi, Gwen. I talked about uh, Zelda and you missed it. Dang it. Um, I was telling him about how frustrated I was at my 26%. Did I tell you the percentage? Gwen, if I didn't tell you this story, I need to tell it to you. Um, not right now, but I do need to tell that story to you because it's pretty funny. Um, okay, so I'm going to oil my my cabbage now and I'll show you how I do it because you don't want to like drench it in oil. I don't want to drench it in oil because that's a ton of calories. So get yourself a little drizzler and then y'all see that? Yeah. I kind of like the pieces that don't get as a lot of oil more than the oily pieces. So, um, okay. I'm going to use this organic garlic pepper. This stuff is amazing. I love this. Like, I wish it was in a grinder so I could just pour it on everything. Um, I didn't know I needed this until they sent it to me. Now I'm like, I need a lot of it. Um, what does it have in it? It has sea salt, garlic, black pepper, onion, and parsley. That's it. But it's really good on cabbage. Um, yeah. Gonna get reported for being too steamy in the kitchen. <laughs> I am using food gloves. Y'all want to see the box? Um, these gloves I bought because I hate touching raw meat and cutting raw meat and stuff like that. I just don't like, um, touching raw meat. I just don't. So I bought these off of Amazon. There's 200 of them. They don't have any powder on them, so they don't get anything on my food. They're really easy to take off. Um, I just keep a, I have a little jar right here where I just put a whole bunch in there. Um, actually I can just probably put some in there right now. Um, and they're just super easy. I use them like the other day I was cutting onions. I didn't want to touch the onions. So I use gloves. Um, so super, super good. Love, love. Um, all right. So let me check on our cookies. They don't look done at all. So we're just going to leave those in there for a little bit. Does the cabbage reheat? So it's going to be soggy when you reheat it. Excuse me. It's kind of crunchy. Um, whenever you take it out of the oven, but it's going to be kind of soggier whenever you reheat it. I put it in the air fryer. Excuse me. That bubbly makes me burpy. Um, uh, I put it in the air fryer and it made it like super crispy. So if you have an air fryer, super awesome. You know what? They're not done. I don't think I looked at them. I don't know what time it said on the internet. I can't look it up cause y'all are on the, on my phone. So they're looking good though. They're not brown on the edges, and normally cookie recipes are like, wait till they're brown on the edges. I'm going to make the cabbage in a minute. Um, I'm just going to let it sit for a second because it needs to go in the oven at like 410. My cat's sitting, stays, what are you doing? He's like up on this counter thing watching me. You're for old people, Steve. I can't wait to try the apple seltzer. This, I love uh, the bubbly. Bubbly is so good. Are yours dark brown? Mine are not dark brown at all. Take yours out. <laughs> um, with before and after pictures. What do you mean? Tell me more about what you mean. Um, it's crazy when you start tracking how much you're actually eating and, and don't realize. Um, I very rarely have leftovers either. So... I want to say these just... Mine aren't done. I just don't think they're done. I don't know what it said. Um, damn, it did say, did it say 12 minutes? Maybe I should take mine out so they don't overcook. All right, we'll just take them out. What are you gonna do? They just don't look very browned. But honestly, I think they hard up over time, so that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna turn my oven up. I'm sorry, um, Policia, I hope they're not ruined. Um, I hope they didn't cook too long. 12 minutes isn't much more than 10. It shouldn't have been that. Um, um, I weighed 117? I don't remember. 17 pounds? 117? I've lost 75 pounds. Um, yeah, I think they're going to be okay. I think they're, they're going to cool off. I know you have to let them set. Um, Good. Just, you know what? If you got kids, you can feed them all the stuff you don't want. Um, 
I am a cooking show. What does she want? Because she wants before and after. Um, 0.5 is great. There's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. Um, thank you. I'm glad everybody else is. Uh, my Lex is just slacking, apparently. That jerk. Slacking on the job. Um, candy apple. You can. These cookies are so easy. Like, I'll send you the recipe. It's four ingredients. Going to be so easy. Um, I'm glad that I don't think they're ruined. Um, that's awesome. Keep up the. Don't. Like, keep up the good work. It doesn't matter how much other people have lost. Like, that's that's awesome. Like, keep it up. Keep going. Um, 80 more to go. You got this. You already did half of it. So, it's right around the corner. Um, mm, whipped cream is delicious. So, my oven... Living in an apartment, your oven does whatever it wants. All of the time. Um, Cause they're all very old ovens. So I actually, I bought like, my dad gave me a, a oven thermometer that sits in my oven. So I kind of use it to see like what the actual temperature is. Cause my oven kind of runs a little bit hotter than it's supposed to. So I didn't know you, can you really calibrate your oven? I'm sure you can. I'm sure that's a thing, right? Ovens are expensive. It's not like people are just buying new ovens when their oven doesn't heat the right way. I don't know. I know being a homeowner is a lot of work. My boyfriend's been one for two weeks. Is a lot of work. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to get off of here because I don't know what else to say. I'm just kind of hanging out. Um, if y'all have any questions or comments or concerns about keto, baking, cookies, cabbage, anything, I'm always here. I will always respond to DMs even if it takes me a day or two. I will respond, I promise. Um... If there's anything y'all ever need, I will try. I am not strict with protein. The more protein, the better. Um, protein makes me happy. I'm a very pro-protein person over fat for anything. Um, if y'all need anything, let me know. And I hope y'all have a good night. Oh, you know what? If you needed to know how to make the chocolate topping, I will write that in the description of these cookies because I wanted to do that, but they're going to be way too hot. And I didn't even think about that. Um, so if you want me to tell you how to do the, the chocolate on top, I will write it down in the little description. So it's really, really easy and you can make it any way you want. So, um, <laughs> Steve. Did you get, like, a license to tell dad jokes? Or, like, when you started at a certain age, like, here's your really bad joke book to go tell jokes to everybody with. Okay. I hope you'll have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.